I think Astro is easily one of the most exciting frameworks out there. Why? Because it's constantly coming out with new additions and features that are really impressive. And I just found this new integration called Astro Tunnel, which allows you to run your application locally, but expose that URL to the internet for other people to test out as well. Pretty cool. Let's check it out. So the other day I was working with jQuery. Yes, that's not a joke. I was working with Salma from the Century team of migrating a project from jQuery to Astro to basically anything that's not jQuery. And we were working on this project live streaming and I was sharing my code through VS Code Live Share. So through that uh, extension in VS Code, I could share my code, uh, but it's supposed to be able to work with sharing the live running server so that she could go and view that page as well, but it didn't work. So we were looking for some sort of alternative. So for reference, if you want to go and find this, this is on Twitch a few days ago. You can see if it's still on. I'll, I'll include a link below if you want to watch the whole stream. But what I found is there is an integration inside of Astro called Astro Tunnel, which gives you the ability to expose your local Astro server to the Internet. So that's exactly what we needed. And I'll show you how I set this up. It takes literally a second. But that's what we set up. And she could see the live reloading server in her browser, just like I would in my browser from a locally running dev environment. Now, for Astro integrations and specifically now the dev toolbar, which I'll talk about in a second, are basically the game changers for why this framework is so exciting for me. It, it uh, just enables so much that you can add to the platform and be able to do it quickly and easily, et cetera. So the Astro tunnel extension, you basically, or integration, you install this by running the Astro add command. Now, this is the same as if you were to install Svelte or Tailwind or anything else. So MPX, Astro Add, and then Astro Tunnel. And this will automatically give you your uh, configuration. So it'll update the Astro config file to use this here. And then the first time you try to activate this, you will have to approve uh, the cloud flared uh, something that allows you to do this behind the scenes. So you have to accept that. Now you can make the decision for yourself of whether or not this is worth it. But I went ahead and accepted it and we were able to run this super, super easy. So there's also some additional configuration options, which I didn't mess with. But I'll show you inside of my project or the project we were working on. All this is already done for me. I have Astro Tunnel installed and then I have it uh, configured to be able to use be used there. So inside of the locally running application inside of the dev toolbar, you can see we have the Astro Tunnel icon down there. Now, before I show you uh, how to set this up, I do want to call out this project, which is super, super cool. So what this is going to be is kind of a 3D globe that is going to show little pings or little pins every time an error comes in through Sentry. And it's going to have them categorized by language or platform, I think is what they call it. So JavaScript, Python, PHP, et cetera. So it's just going to be like ping, 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 ping. Like it, there's so many. It's kind of overwhelming. But it is cool on this 3D, uh, 3D globe. So that's going to be a fun project to work on. Keep an eye out for that. I'll talk more about that. So if we come down and click on the Astro Tunnel, you can see that this is not running yet, but all I have to do is just click this toggle and it now gives me a URL that I can use uh, to copy and paste into a now browser, a uh, new browser tab. Now you could actually uh, pause and type this if you wanted to, and you could see exactly what I'm seeing through that URL as well. Actually, I'm, I'm totally kidding. You can't do that. This only works while I'm currently running the dev server and you have that link. So by the time you watch this video, I won't be running the dev server. So you won't be able to see what I'm seeing by typing the, in the URL. But if we were to do this real time, you could see exactly what I'm saying. So let me just copy this URL just to show you. So let me open in a new tab and paste this in. You can see that this is a uh, .trycloudflare.com URL. This is a fully public URL. And it's the same exact thing inside of here. Now, the coolest thing about this is this has the live reloading server built in. So even though you're you're viewing this through a remote URL, if I, uh, the person who's running the dev server, write code or change code and save, it's going to restart uh, that deployed version of this as well. So you get the same live reloading server, just as if I was only running it locally, but remotely available to anyone that you want to be able to see. And in this case, I don't have to fully deploy to Netlify or, Depl or uh, Vercel or Cloudflare or wherever. I can just have this tunnel and it's ready to go, which is amazingly super, super cool. So I am very excited about the Astro toolbar and all the additional plugins that I'm seeing inside of here. I just did a video on the Spotlight plugin, which allows you to do full stack uh, tracing and, and error tracking and stuff inside of your local locally running application with Astro as well. 
And then I've got a few more that are on my radar. If you have any plugins or um, plugins for the toolbar that you want me to cover that you think are cool, let me know because I'm always looking for more exciting ones. So the last thing I want to leave you with is my Astro course. So if you're interested in learning everything there is to know about Astro 4.0, you can check this out at astrocourse.dev. And this gets into building a fully full stack blog where we do static site generator uh, generation. We do server side rendering. We do database calls with Zeta. We use TypeScript, do automatically generated cover images with Cloudinary. There's so much in here and it's so much fun. So you can check that out at astrocourse.dev if you're interested. In the meantime, let me know if you found any uh, extensions that I should check out in the Astro ecosystem. Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.